Hi everybody, how are you doing today? I'm Craig and uh, like always welcome to Pop Control. A little bit different today, I'm standing up out of my chair for starters, which is kind of unusual. Uh, it's because I just did a video and I came back and I wanted to put this at the beginning of it. Uh, this video is going to be out today, which is October 30th, uh, Saturday. Tomorrow, uh, let me show you the glam shot here if I can find it. Hold on just a second. Okay, there we go. Uh, tomorrow, Sunday, October 31st, even though Sunday is spelled Sue Day there, uh, we're going to have a uh, battle royale between six of us, it looks like. Uh, 11 o'clock, that's Mountain Standard Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so check your clocks if you want to come visit. Appreciate it if you would. Uh, all my subscribers, I'd love you guys to come out and say hi. Um, we're going to be doing some boxes. I think we got a nerd merch, at least... Uh, uh, me and uh, Dead Zone have Nerd Birch boxes. I don't know what the other guys have, but we've got some uh, Gem Pops boxes. We've got some Spastic boxes. We've got a bunch of other ones here, so we'll probably open a few boxes up uh, tomorrow. But uh, join us, 11 o'clock, Mount Center time. Now I'm going to put you back to the video. You have to watch the, the intro, and then you'll come back right to the video. See you guys later. Bye. Alright everybody, welcome back and uh, today as always on this channel we say hi to the post office folks here in town. We say hi to all my grandkids and if you would please hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that bell notification, we'll let you know next time a video comes out. Alright, today we got something kind of special, eh, a little special. We got three boxes we're going to open up, uh, one uh, seven bucks a pop box and two spastics and they're all related in as they are Goonie boxes and the spastic should have two signed pops in it that are and the I mean the uh, seven bucks pop ones two signed and the spastic uh, collectibles they are a hunt for uh, Goonie pops so they all kind of matched up and explain to you how I got into Goonie pops I never really cared that much about them and then I saw the Luau, and I have seen the Goonies, and I just never really thought about it. The, Go the Luau talked about the Goonies, and he said that they're, you know, he's a pretty smart guy over there. I kind of listened to his stuff. And he was going on about him one day, and he said this uh, Chunky had a signing. And uh, the gentleman Cohen, I think his name is, doesn't sign very often. He was kind of excited about it. So I went over, I looked, I bought one. Here that is. And it's a signed pop by, uh, from Chucky. <laughs> I think his name, uh, I can't remember the guy's name, uh, but anyway, he did sign it, Truffle Shuffle and Chunky, and so it's all signed on there, and there's a nice little sticker they put on the back. But anyway, I did pick this one up, and I figured, well, why not? Since I got that, I might as well try for a couple others, so here we go. Let's do this. We'll start with a seven bucks pop. Now, this should be, assuming I got it correct. I dropped my paperwork. Um, this should be two signed pops, but I'm not 100% sure. Because <clears throat> I thought I would put them on pre-order, and this is like a week later, two weeks later, I got this. So I was like, okay, I'm not 100% sure I ordered the right thing. Came in two boxes like this. So, yeah. Okay, so we'll just do one at a time here. They should be signed pops. I guess, I don't know. It's pretty bad we don't know what you bought. That happens a lot. Anyway. Oops, I didn't cut through it. I just sharpened that knife. Okay, this is absolutely well, perfectly boxed. Now this is, look at this, uh, Boxing. That's the way to box. This came with a piece of uh, the grape double bubble gum or and uh, a grail because we know Seven Bucks Pop and the Mystery Grail are sister companies. So I'm not surprised to get this. I have not ever opened one of these boxes, and I'm not sure why. I don't. Yeah, I think it, what bothers me about these is that uh, there's so many of them out there that the chances of hitting something are so small. I just can't. I just can't. Do it, you know. If I was gonna do appetizers like uh, 
um, franchise kicks over there. You know, if they do, if I was doing something like that, it'd be perfect for that. But I don't do that, so I'd rather spend the money on something I want. Anyway, that I have a possibility of getting something, a good possibility of getting something. So this, anyway, it comes in a pop shield snug box. These are nice because you can fit it with a uh, protector in there. Oh, I also had another piece of gum. I had a regular double bubble. Cool. There. Okay, this should be. There we go. This is Mikey. Mikey. Sean. I can't remember. I can't see his full name. I'll have to look it up. But this is uh, JSA certified. There you go. There's Mikey for some bucks pop. Just say certified. So there's two sign pops. That, uh, see that numbers on these. Hold on. This is a 2013 pop. 2013. Wow. Now see the thing is, this one sign is an OG one, a 77. My sign one I got from Chunk is one of the newer ones, 1066. So this is a new run. But I still have the sign one. I'm happy with that. And I have a Mikey. I'm happy with that. And let's see what the other one I got is. I'm going to sharpen this knife. I'm just not hitting it straight in the right spot. Um, and another ad for the mystery boxes. Mystery box ad, same thing. And we got a grape. And this time we only did get one, unless it's in there. There it is. There's another grape. Two. They really did pack these well. I like the way they did this. Quite impressed, actually. And this one is Data. Data. Oops, sorry. Nothing special on these. This is a, uh, now see, this is an old one. I didn't know that this was going to be an old one. One was going to be old school. I don't remember reading anything about that. So this is one of the new ones, nine, ten, number 1068. But this one's one of the old school ones. This is a 2021 pop here. This one's 2013. Holy cow. I have no idea what that's worth. <laughs> huh. I'll have to check that out. I will check it out when I do prices later. But I'll set those off to the side because we got some other stuff to open up here. Let me actually let me go put these away because I don't want them falling. And then I'll get right back. Alright, folks, I uh, got those put away. Well, kind of put away. Anyway, uh, let's go on to the next two boxes. These are both spastic box boxes. And what makes these unique to the ones I've just shown you is this is the guaranteed value blind box hunt. Let me put the uh, up here for you. There you go. Blind box hunt for Goonie Grails. That's why I put this all together. <laughs> got to see those Goonies. I, I love that. So you see there on the screen, we got the uh, six Goonies that are available. And I just picked up. One of them, which is number 77. I didn't have it. That's the OG Goonies there, and I did not have that. So that one I don't need to pick up out of these boxes, but if I get it, that's fine. Um, in this box, this is a little unusual for them. I don't remember. I don't order a lot from Spastic, but I don't remember them doing it. They might now. I don't know. But they give you an approximate chance of or what your chances are. They give you an idea of what chances are. In this box, this run... You have an approximate chance of getting a box containing one of these pictured pops is 1 in 16.5. So the chances aren't great, but it's not that bad. This was only a $99, bo $99 total, I'm sorry, 99 total box run. I got that one right. Um, so uh, you know, there's a chance, but it's not the best chance in the world, I, I got to admit. But I had to go for it for the Goonies. I just had to give it a shot. So in this, like most of theirs, you order one. Uh, you can order as many as you like, but one per uh, uh, order. I did order two of them here. So uh, let's see. Details. You get four pops in a box. All of them be four-inch pops. Uh, let me see. Six winners will get the glam shot picks. 
All the pops or conditions are 7.0 to 9.5 or better. Um, shipping's actual cost. That should be about everything we need to know on that. And I did say they were $60 plus shipping. If I didn't tell you that already, that's what the cost of that, these are. 60 plus shipping. All right, so we'll take the first one. This one did take a bit of a crunch thing. I don't know. Let me up. Let me change out here. I always forget to do that. This one took a bit of a crunch, so I don't know what's going to happen to it inside. We don't know yet. Let's see here. Not bad on that side, though. Other than that, it looks okay, I think. A couple, it looks like it might have gotten wet or something here. Crunched in or wet or... can't tell. Yeah, it looks like it was wet. Something got wet on there. Hopefully that didn't affect anything in here. I hope. We'll see. All right, let's see. Open it from the top this time. Top. Okay, we have four pops. They're in plastic. Let's see. Let's see if any of them. I didn't read. Did they say they were going to put them all in protectors? I couldn't remember. I don't remember. No, because there's there's one without a protector. Two without a protector. That one's squished. That one's got some damage on it. Three without a protector, and one with a protector, okay? Let me pull out the smash one first, and this is from, let me get this here. This is right here, there's this corner right here. So you can see this damage here, all along here. Uh, yeah. Okay, we did, I just had this false sticker fall out of my leg. <laughs> Spastic collectibles. Got a bunch of those. Okay, so yeah, this is gonna be a damaged pop. We'll just go ahead and pull it out and see what it looks like. Let me see how to do this this way. Uh, I can feel it's like there's more than one that's damaged. Well, I can't tell. Alright, here's one that I know is damaged. I can feel it. I can get it out of there. It's in there pretty good. Alright. Ready? Yeah, it's damaged, way damaged. It's destroyed. One, two, three, go! It is Black Panther Civil War. And I do collect the Black Panthers, believe it or not. But I don't have this one. But look out, that box is just completely destroyed. I'll have to contact them. I don't know what the deal is with them over there. I'm sure, uh, I think I've had a, uh, dealt with them before, and I wish I could remember his name. I know his name. Anyway, very good people to deal with over there at Spice Collectible. So, you know, this isn't their fault, and it's hard to. <laughs> Other than they were packing there pretty tight. Other than that, I mean, it wasn't their fault. It just damaged the box. I don't see anything on the bottom like it was wet. So that's at least one good thing. Well, I just have to see how the rest of them turned out. This one's bad. Look at that. Look at that top of that one's all crunched in. Look at that. It's that big old rip right across the forehead. The old plastic's all crunched in here. That's pretty bad. But anyway, what you can do. Okay, next one. Without a protector, we have three in and one with Or three without and one with. Next one. Okay. And this one feels okay. Let's see how it looks. This one feels like it has a sticker too. No, maybe not. Nope, it's part of the box. I can't tell. Okay, ready? One, two, three. We have got, oh, Leprechaun. And this box, it uh, did get a little bit crunched in here. You can see there. So it does have a little bit of damage on it. Not too much compared to the other one especially. This is cool. This is a Notre Dame college football. Oh, this did get it crunched in all along this edge here in this corner. It's all pushed in here. So this was pretty damaged also. I'm going to have to contact uh, Curtis. I think his name's Curtis over at Spastic. Um, this one really is cool. I really like to keep this one. Dang. This is really, especially for me, I'm Irish. And so I like anything with the Irish logo. But plus, uh, I just uh, picked up, let me see here if I got this. This is a Unboxing Treasures logo. <laughs> kind of cool. Let's see what it's in there. He's an Irish guy too, I guess. It's cool though. Yeah, I like that one. That one I would keep. I think I'm going to keep it anyway. I'll, I'll talk to them and see what they say about damage. I have no idea the price. Both those are destroyed, though. Yeah, both those are bad pops. <laughs> this one feels destroyed, too. So I got three destroyed pops in this box so far. And hopefully the one the protector is not, right? I'm not going to do the one, two, three. This is Mortal Kombat. This is uh, 
Raiden with Lightning, 539. I do not have this one. I don't have any of these. All three of these I don't. But this one, again, is also damaged. The whole back end is crunched in. You can see the bottom there. Bend it up and dinged up. So yeah, these, all three of these are damaged beyond. I, I can't do anything with them. They're out of boxers. The Leprechaun, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to keep it probably, but I'm not sure. That's disappointing. It's disappointing. So I got one more. It's in a protector. Hopefully it survived because the other three didn't. And hopefully it survived it. I imagine if it was a Goonie, it'd be in a hard stack, so it's not one of those. Let's see what we got here. That's bad. Okay, ready? One, two, three. We got Halo. Master Chief. I do have Halo Master Chief, I think. I did. I don't know if I still do. I got rid of most of my game pops. Halo 17, Master Chief. I'm, I don't think I had this one, though. This is with MA-40 Assault Rifle in Hydro Deco. Okay. That's kind of interesting. I've never seen that before. There's three pops in this collection, Spartan Mark, Master Chief and Spartan Mark 7 and Spartan Mark 7. Two different ones, different guns, I guess. Never seen it, I have no clue. We'll find out during uh, prices. This is an overseas sticker on this one, by the way. The ones are little ones, too, the little tiny ones. All right, so there's the first box. Let's go to the second box. Let's see what we do here. Now, on this one, there's no noticeable damage on this. So I'm hoping, I don't know, I don't know what I hope right now. <laughs> that one kind of disappointed me. Wish I'd have done that one last. And eh, maybe not. Maybe there's something good in here to help me boost my spirits. It's pretty bad when you lose three out of four pops. And I haven't even taken that other one out of the protector and I have to look at it. I will though. Okay, and this one. Four out of four pops. We got one in protector. You know, one in a protector. Okay. Soft protector, so no hard stacks. Let's take this one out first. No protector. One, two, three. Wonder Woman. I haven't seen this one before. This is Wonder Woman Heroes Challenge of the Gods. I have not seen this one. And I have several Wonder Woman pops here. This one's new to me. It's a 21 pop, so it's a new to everybody. But this one's in decent shape. Nothing wrong with that. Looks good. No problems with it. Actually, it looks excellent. Excellent on that one. Okay, next one without the protector. Okay, we'll do this. I don't know why I'm doing that. You guys can see it as I move it down. One, two, three. Mandy. There you go. Mandy, I looked at. Cheated. So Mandy is from the movie Mandy, I guess. I've never seen it. Now, M Mandy has a two difficult, different colored eyes. One's regular black and one looks either cloudy or blue. I haven't decided what they're trying to go with that. I haven't seen this before. I have no clue. Anybody else? Oops, sorry. I moved the camera on again. Always doing that. See, this is a, I can't kind of read the number there. This is a, get it the right light. I think it's a 2020 pop, but I'm not sure. Can't, it's hard to read that. Well, it's 2021. So that's another new one out. And next, we shall go with, okay, one, two, three. We got, oh, Huckleberry Hound. I, oh, that's a flocked Huckleberry. This is the uh, Gemini exclusive Huckleberry Hound. This is a 2018 pop, Huckleberry Hound. I, this is number 15. It's an old one for them, yeah. I like this, Huckleberry Hound. I do like him. Now, on the back of this, it has, uh, in this series, is Fred Flintstone, Barney Rubble, Frankenstein, and uh, Hong Kong Fui. That's pretty cool. I remember re seeing all those. Watching all those cartoons when I was younger. Well, kind of. Watching them with my kids, maybe. <laughs> Alright, so that's a flocked one. That's pretty cool. I like that. And finally, the last one. And it's in a protector. Let's see here. We got another one in the box. 
we do another spastic collectible sticker. Got lots of those around the house. All right, this one is protector. So I don't think we hit any of the big ones. Oh well. Let's see what this one is. I can't tell which is. This protector doesn't doesn't open enough. For it. Where's it? That's got to be the top. I can't tell which is front or back. Is it taped or something? Oh, there I got it. Okay, let's see. All right, ready? One, two, three. We've got Bone Daddy. This is a fall convention, 2017 fall convention, 4,000 piece exclusive. I have never had this one. I like it. Bone Daddy. Perfect time for it, too. Oh, I love this on the back. I'm gonna, I'll read it to you, but there you can pause it and read it yourself if you want. But uh, it says, Bone Daddy, dig this. The original hip bone is back from the grave. This classic Funko Bone Daddy Wacky Wobbler returns as a pop, ready to sock it to you. It's a 2017 pop. That's kind of cool. I like that. Got the spastic, the spastic collectibles stack on it. I mean, uh, protector on it. All right, uh, let's go check it. Prices, I think that's all, and I'll get right back to y'all. All right, everybody, I am back with some prices, and uh, we're going to start with the first box. Now, remember the damage on this box. <laughs> very bad. Very, very badly damaged. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I'll contact Curtis over there. I believe it's Curtis, and yeah, he's always been great before, but it's not his fault, so it's hard to tell what's going to happen. But I'll see what I can do with this. Nonetheless, I want to keep this one. This is the Leprechaun. Probably the only one out of these three that I would keep uh, just on account of. So the prices on these, let's go ahead and start with uh, Black Panther down here. Uh, this is the Pop Life one. They had like three or four different variants. And this is $21. The Leprechaun, the College Leprechaun, is going for $14. The Raiden with Lightning is going for $15. Those three are pretty much destroyed. The... Uh, uh, Halo, um, which is the Master Chief, um, is going for $22. So no big hitters in there at all. For those four boxes, it came to $72. I remember I paid $60 plus shipping, so I won't count shipping, uh, even though for Spastic is the most expensive shipping for me because they're way away from me. But anyway, so uh, $72. I, I paid $60, so that's $12 profit on there. Go ahead and set those off to the side. We'll do these other ones. Okay, and we've got these. This is the next box. We've got uh, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is running $14. This is one I hadn't seen before. It's a new one to me. I think this was a new pop in that one. Yeah, it's 2021. You got uh, the Huckleberry Hound. Huckleberry Hound is going for $21. That is uh, the flocked one, and it is also the, uh, uh, the Gemini exclusive uh, one. Locked and Gemini, twenty-one dollars for that. Mandy, Mandy, who I've never seen before. Mandy has two variants. It's just the common and the chase. This is the common. The common runs for twenty-two dollars. Bone Daddy. Out of this group, I'm probably going to keep Huckleberry Hound just because my grandkids would probably love to see that. Bone Daddy, I'll probably keep because I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. And I really like it, and it's Halloween. I'm going to keep it. Now, Bone Daddy is uh, running twenty-nine dollars. So total on this box came to $86. Remember I paid 60, so I had a $26 profit on that. So you add them together, you come, uh, I had a total of $158 on these two boxes, I paid 120. So we got a $38 profit, not bad. Not including shipping, but at, at, at the very least it broke even, so I'm, call, I'm considering this a win nonetheless, with the exception of the uh, destroyed boxes. And I'll let you know in a future video what happens with that, but uh, I really am not expecting a whole lot. Anyway, folks, thank you very much for checking in and uh, watching the video. I appreciate it. And if you would, please, uh, as I said earlier on in the, uh, or at the beginning, we're doing a uh, uh, opening, battle box opening tomorrow, a bunch of boxes, uh, the group of us, six of us, and uh, I'll put their information up again now or over here or somewhere. Anyway, uh, come out and join us. Sit around, chat, talk, whatever. Watch a football game for a while and come over, talk to us, go back to the game, back and forth. Or just put the game in front of you. Works that way for me. All right, folks, that's it. I'll talk to you later. Everybody have a great day out there. Adios.